Hey everybody, welcome to the channel. So I've got the John Deere 35G in here and I'm getting ready to go out and do some mowing and you can't run that hydraulic mower on the end of this thing without some kind of flying object protection on the front of this. And last year when I was using it, I had a piece of metal mesh grating on here and that worked really well, nothing got through it, but it got really difficult to see through. Your eyes would focus on that mesh when you're trying to look 10 feet past it to what you're cutting and you just constantly had to refocus your eyes back and forth and it actually ended up giving me a headache a couple of times doing it. So I ended up measuring this space and this is 36 by 44. And I bought a piece of half inch Lexan and I'm just gonna attach that on here and I've got this U-channel track and my thought is if I can bolt this right to the front here, that will hold it and then I can drill some holes in that half inch Lexan and just zip tie that to it. And I think it'll be a whole lot better. So let's check it out. We will measure and mark our piece of channel and we need to be right at three foot or 36 inches. I think a Sawzall will work to cut that. So put a new metal cutting blade in here. I love that blade chain system. Okay, and we'll cut this off. Oops. There we go. Not a bad cut. Okay, we'll go put this on the machine. I'm gonna turn this bolt so that the flat is sitting there so that it lowers that as much as we can. There we go. Not quite totally flat. Let's go a little further. I'll do the same thing over there. What that'll do is it'll sit, this rail will sit on the flat of that and give it a little more of a shelf of support. Now I'll set my rail on top of those. Okay, with that sitting there, we'll see if we can use a spring clamp to hold these. Oh yeah, that's nice. Let go, see if it's... Yeah, that'll hold it while I drill it. Is my thought. These are some powerful freaking little clamps. <laughs> okay, so with those clamps on, I'll drill it. Okay, and to really hold this secure while I'm drilling, Go ahead and use these quick clamps as well. Okay, let's see if we can drill this hole through both pieces of metal. And I've got my DeWalt angle drill here. Okay, we've got the first hole in, take off our clamp, and I'll put our bolt in. Got a small 3 16 bolt here, and I'm gonna use a whole bunch of permanent thread blocker on it. Because I don't want these rattling off. So we'll drop it through the hole. And these screws have Phillips or straight. And I'm gonna use an offset screwdriver. It's just about not long enough. And a 3 8 ratchet wrench, just tighten this down. So 
same thing we use lots of permanent red loctite all righty so there is the rail and i still got this foam on here from when i had the metal on it and here is our lexan this Lexan has this protective paper on it, so I'll pull that off of one side, which will be the inside. And now I'll put a piece of Lexan on the ledge. This is half inch thick polycarbonate or Lexan and it's heavy, but look at that. It slides right in to that track, and we'll square it up. Okay, and I'll pull the protective plastic off this side and we'll get our first look through the windshield that we're adding. Okay, that's gonna work really well, I think. So they say the way to drill this Lexan is with a step bit. And so I'm gonna go ahead and use a step bit on my, just my DeWalt angle drill and drill these holes and tie this on with zip ties. We'll see how it works. And they say the secret is to go smoothly and don't, don't press hardly at all. So we're going smoothly and we're not really pressing. Just letting the bit eat through. And that should be enough. We'll see if our zip tie will go through there. That's all I'm looking for. Okay, so zip tie goes through the beginning of the hole, but not the end. And I've got pretty large zip ties because I don't want this to fall off. All right, what I'm wondering, I think what I'll do is drill them from the front and then come back and drill some from the back. So let's put about four of them through here.
the other side, see how that turns out. Okay, so the step drill, where I've got the hole big enough on the front because that's half inch thick, it's hot. The hole is a lot smaller on the back. So what I'm gonna do is just drill a little bit from the back side as well. And I realized you couldn't see any of that. We'll see if this one does better. Okay, so we'll just drill this hole out, make it fatter. Okay, that'll do it. Got one more down here. All right, so I'll do the other side, same way, and this will be a wrap. Okay, so I'll drill my four holes on this side from the back. Okay, slide it back and we'll zip tie it on. There's Lexan after it's been drilled. Okay, now all I'm gonna do is use these large zip ties that were left over from our heating and cooling installation so zip tie this on. Then I'll find some kind of lint free like a Swiffer or something to clean the static electricity piece of Lexan off. to use these giant zip ties but I wanted something pretty fat because this thing has a lot of weight and there is a lot of vibration but you wouldn't want some lightweight piece of plastic up here we're talking about a mower that throws up to three inch chunks back at you Okay, there's that side. I'll go ahead and throw the other side in before I cut anything off just to make sure I don't have to tighten it up more. The other thing that's nice with this clear Lexan is I can keep that on there even when I'm digging since I can see through it and see what I'm doing. Whereas the metal, when I took off, when I dug and put back on the mow, it's kind of a pain in the butt. Gonna leave those barely long enough to get a hold of them with a pair of pliers. In case I want to tighten something back up. Alrighty, and just like that, I've got a half inch Lexan window that when I'm operating this mini excavator as a hydraulic mower, nothing should be able to throw back and hit me. 
Now there is a gap right here at the top. It's about six inches, but it's actually above my head. So if something came back at just the wrong angle, I guess it's not as good as complete full coverage, but I didn't want to get in the way of my light here either. I could have went maybe another inch higher or cut something out, but I think this will do it. And also I don't, I don't, you know, you're, you can be careful while you're using that hydraulic mower and keep it throwing stuff away from you. This is just to make sure. So, get all my little pieces of fuzz off here. It's on the outside. So I'm, I'm pretty happy with it. Half inch Lexan. This piece of Lexan was about 250 bucks. And I just bought it at a local plastic supply place. So here's the connection with those zip ties. And like I said, I've got four on each side. And I think that'll be plenty. And then I've got the steel rail at the bottom to hold it. Okay, so when hooking this hydraulic cutter up, you have to unplug the thumb, or I do anyway. And when I unplug the thumb, if I don't tie it up, it goes down. So I just tie it up with a ratchet tie strap. That'll do it, and then just tie the excess out of the way. Okay, when you run the hydraulic cutter or a breaker or anything that has one-way flow, you have to change this valve from the position it's in now, which is for the thumb, or two-way flow, to one-way flow, which is pretty easy. And put the cover back. Okay, so we're ready to run this cutter and test out this new windshield.
think I'll end this video here on the new Lexan windshield for our excavator, which will protect us when we're using the hydraulic brush cutter from any flying debris. So thanks a lot for watching. Have a great day. Be safe.